damage on your shirt match your hat. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. pretty cool. No, it's cool. Well, when you walked in, it's Jason, so. when I walked in earlier, I seen him from the back. I didn't see the front. Oh, the, yeah. He got uh, the image on the front. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. With a hockey, the hockey vibe. You know what I'm saying? And he got the shoes the to match. match. It makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, okay, cool. Michael. We can't see your shirt. You got to probably put your foot up. You're going to have to get a kick cam in here. A kick cam? <laughs> Not a, oh, I thought a, you a camera like, hey, dedicated to the kicks. <laughs> yeah. How the bottoms look? Let me see the bottom. You know how to, you have these. No, I'm talking about yours. I ain't saying. <laughs> you have Ross these. Ross always shoes, trying bro. to do that, bro. He I didn't, has I didn't say I didn't have them. I'm just talking about how the bottom look. You know how they look. I don't. Are you walking? Oh, I'm bad. trying to figure out, are you going <laughs> anywhere? My bad. You or don't do you, know how they well, look. Well, you know, he you has a million them. shoes, so you may be trying to make sure they're at least black. Oh, Ross? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Y'all have a million and two combined. So what are we talking about? Combined. You try to side flex exactly. on Exactly. Y'all have Take a million and right. two combined. You tried it. <laughs> you tried it. Yeah. A million just, and two. Well, you have a million by yourself. I so. choose to let you. Don't do not do it now. You tried to slide flex on these. Y'all, y'all yeah. have a million and two combined. Y'all have a lot of Take shoes. Take the combined out. If I say I have a million and I say y'all have a million and two, that means y'all have more than me. Combined. Barely. barely. It's not We barely. really do barely. No, because if it was both of us, it would be two million. If we, anywho, whatever. I'm about, yeah, I'm about uh, to say it don't even matter. Okay, he like. tried it though. It's cool. Um, <laughs> how you guys doing, man? Episode ninety four of the Halloween, ITC man. podcast, it is. man. Hello, hello, Halloween. Halloween. Mm-hmm. It's spooky in these streets. Because it's spooky. gonna be dropped on Halloween, right? Yeah. Mm. He tried. He trying to trying to change. Oh it, yeah, you, don't you get the new internet too? Yeah, yeah. I'm getting real personal. <laughs> don't you? Wait, is that's uh, is that a new iPhone? That's, that's a new pers- iPhone. Is 15, it? Right? How can you tell from that mask? Uh, you can't even see. <laughs> I can tell because see, Why? guys, it, it I'm on the a same. 12 Pro. I can tell by the camera. No, the camera cannot. lenses are bigger. Yes, bro. this is. The, I put a uh, no, it's, a it's protector bigger. on it's, here. It's bigger, bro. I know. I looked no. up the same specs and take phone it easy on the bigger. It's okay, man. Ross, we know you're gonna have a 15 by next week. No, so. I'm not. <laughs> Mm-mm. Hey, I'm, I just have a cell phone. I don't care what, what he got. The version. 15 Pro, y'all. It's cool. I like it. Damn. I never tell you bright like. <laughs> I just want y'all to this. understand. So just tell I just want business. y'all to understand. The joke is, oh yeah, Mr. Fancy Ross. It ain't just me. Over an iPhone, bro. That's what you're trying to do right now. You comparing <laughs> just, that because I got a new phone. Y'all gotta take your Halloween new photo, y'all, and Anthem Halloween photo. We did. Yeah, yeah with his new we're phone. To, we're probably gonna have to take a new one. <laughs> and the camera quality is <laughs> superb. This nigga be trying it, bro. <laughs> but your camera quality. He showed me the That's the it. the the portrait mode with the zoom out feature. He literally just before you walked in here sent me a picture of the shoes and how the detail looked. I'm like, damn. I have to check that picture out. He- <laughs> the dissension is still. Uh, no, it's occurring. not. There's no dissension <clears throat> here, man. Anyway. I'm just. Hey, I, hey that's what, when you work hard, you deserve to get nicer things, right? So, wait, what did, how did y'all fans, speaking of dissension, what did your friends think about the last pod, you know, about your friends not being real, you know? No. <laughs> My, I ain't saying none of my personal friends. Mm-hmm. I ain't put nobody's name out there. I didn't. I just feel like the shoe foot, the shoe the, fit, the shoe fit, the shoe foot. Guys, the shoe dog, foot. right? I mean, if the shoe fits, mm-hmm. somebody will wear it. No, no hit dog hollered. So mm-hmm. I think, okay, I think if people, right. I think only people that would be offended by it would say something. But other than that, I mean, I don't say that to shoot any because if I had somebody I felt some type of way, for, I would communicate with them person. I wouldn't, you know. Mm-hmm. But this helps pod. just, you know, this helps me just broaden it because if, if you do feel like you've been slacking today, hey, time to pick it maybe up. It's for you, but it's not on me. So mm-hmm. we're not trying, you try to start kind of, you know, <laughs> she's trying to get there, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was, it started with the dissension. So I had to, you know, it's not dissension. It's really raw, though. It's, <laughs> it's yeah, not, it is. It's not dissension. Whatever you guys are thinking, bro, ready coming soon. Cause yeah, <sighs> not it's not ready. Not feel it. <laughs> not I can feel it. And it's crazy because Maya posted an Instagram reel of her weekend and, uh, yeah, I saw that. And, <laughs> I did see that yesterday, and I was being a hater. I ain't gonna hold you. But none the of first my time pictures I was up there, so it didn't matter. Right? That's what I was looking. That's what you looked for, huh? You tried to see it. Nah, because I it literally. Well, I mean, how would she nah, get the I photo mean, if he takes it on his phone? Be real, bro. This I mean, is true. Did you I'm, look I'm to saying. see? Nah, because you know how they'll just snap, snap the crowd, like oh, just no, crowd no, pictures. No. Oh, okay. I see. Did no, you no. look to see if you was gonna? I be knew I was gonna be there. How did you know? Because I knew I saw the people that was taking pictures. Bro, bro, you could have had an elbow in there. I thought I saw your elbow. elbow. I wouldn't by the stage. I, I keep telling you it was packed. You I think I saw there. Major in there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Major was able to go up to the stage before everybody else was. That's what you get. Mm. I mean, bro, I was I mean, chilling. I mean, it was a, he's a DJ, so I mean, yeah. well known. Was it at the address? Yeah, it was at the oh, address. Oh, well, yeah. shit. Of course he's going to go to the front. He DJs there all the time. Yeah, I was just... This Makes sense. Said that's what you I just want to know when I'm going to start getting invited to some of these... Mm. 
uh, other situations. We still on that again? Nah, it's, it's just more thing. He just he kind of tried to flex on me early about the mm-hmm. invitation he had. Oh no, that a wasn't project. a flex. It's just I was letting you know that's why I because I was actually going to call you to and see if you wanted to do that, but I know we plan to do you this spot. Don't. Yeah, because it was a last minute thing. I just want to get invitations to some of these. So know. wait, to what? It was supposed to be a, a private event. Yeah, uh, probably. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Mm-hmm. But but I knew we were doing this. So P. that's why I was like, ah. Uh, P.E., no gym. <laughs> you stupid. I was like, ah, nah, we, we got to get the part out because, you know, I know we wanted to try to do the Halloween episode. So I was like, yeah. But no, nah, definitely. I was like, oh, yeah, I think he would love to check this out. Yeah, I'll pull up. All right. Well, next time if there is another private event and we're not doing nothing, because I, I feel like, yeah, that's cool. Probably to meet people and network and stuff like that, but at the same time, we we're trying to be consistent with this. Yeah. So that's why I was like, yeah, this is more important. Not now, I understand you. Not now, that made sense. Yeah. <laughs> the other one, it didn't. Anywho, um, and <laughs> certain people can't be at some of the events. Oh no, new. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> no, no, you still be there, but I'm talking about me. Mm-hmm. I seen them in some of her clips. What certain people at the uh, Maya uh, Shindig at the address. Certain people can't be in the clips. What you mean? In the vicinity of the the event. What you mean? You know. No, I really don't. Actually, I'll tell you about it later. So that way, you know, mm-hmm. I don't want to be on camera. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Certain people be shouldn't be there. Who was in the clips? Mob ties. Oh. oh, oh, I did see that as well. Be stupid. Oh, you might as well you just know. say it. You just said what you said. I'm gonna bleep it out. I mean, well, I really don't care. But I'm yeah, just yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I actually forgot he was there. I actually did. <laughs> How that nigga be make? He made sure he was in the front of one of the little. Yeah, I forgot he was there. I think uh, Keisha Cole is supposed to be coming up down because you know uh, what's his name? Uh, DJ DJ High C. Oh, we're not. Shout out to him. Uh, that's you know Keisha Cole's official DJ. Yep. So uh, shout out to High C. I was yeah. going. Uh, I remember what the homie was doing music and mm-hmm. he was at every club trying mm-hmm. to spin his track to get it out. Yeah, now nah, High lit. C. I see he, he's, he's definitely a cool person, bro. He, yeah, he, nah, he, don't he look out for people, you know what I'm saying? So Especially if you're an artist serious about your music. Yeah, he'll, nah, he'll, he'll, he'll always show it. love. So um, he's a, a Keisha Cole's official DJ, and I think she's uh, coming down here to uh, the uh, Thanksgiving Eve mm-hmm. for the, the R&B stuff that they have. And I know that's going to be packed. Oh, uh, that's yeah. on Wednesdays, right? Yeah, that's only on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. So woo, I already know. I'll see what's up. Maybe you would Nisha, actually go to a key, uh, pull y'all, y'all pull up? We got a section or? <laughs> Nigga, it's New Year's, <laughs> no, it's Thanksgiving Eve. <laughs> Keisha no, Cole. I ain't see. <laughs> Thanksgiving Eve, motherfuckers are not, obviously they are. And they're going to charge like a thousand a section, so. Well, it's more than that. It Wait, be, what? It's, if it's a, for well, Ashanti. You know, who, you know what I'm kicking it with? How much was it for Ashanti? It's rough. For Ashanti, each section minimum was like. Four to five thousand minimum. What that includes, it's obviously, white. the bottles it's and, to you, Ross. And, and chill. That includes the bottles, <laughs> that includes, I think, I don't think it includes the hookah or anything or food. I think it's just the bottles and the number of people you have in there. But how many five bottles? Thousand. Bro, we can go to the damn Rockets, uh, yeah. the sky you get a box. whole booth on the skybox yeah. for that, mm-hmm. and you yeah. actually have your own personal yeah. area. I would do that first, would get like a shelf and all that with <laughs> yeah. drinks. Yeah, no, nah, that shit was overseeing oh, and, and then the. The prices alone, the park, they were charging like eighty. <gasps> yeah. Oh, they love. And even my stuff. parking guy, he was like, "I wish I could help you out, but it's Ashanti." I was like, "Nah." So I, we in the parking <laughs> in the forty dollar parking lot, bro. If we Damn, not, y'all pay forty. Yeah, forty. If we bro. not having a coming together because of the second coming of Jesus. I'm not yeah. gonna be paying all that. But the drinks are for nobody because we was by the owners and shit. So that's the only. Positive. But y'all still pay for y'all pay for all your drinks. <laughs> no, nah, well, yeah, well, technically, well, actually, no, because if we would pay for all our drinks, it would have been way higher. Didn't go to the kitchen that day, huh? Uh, mm, not really. We went through the back, through the hookah area. So. Always a way to flex. Huh? <laughs> That's not a flex, <laughs> yeah. but still I mean, we went about to wait in the he front. Said, we still ain't coming in with you niggas. But Don't nah, matter. yeah, yeah, and nah, bro, they. I get it, bro. I get it. I, I mean, it. but it's 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 the politics because they they it. playing they paying the artists like thousands of dollars just to be there. They are not paying for nothing, so they got to recoup their money any way they can. Hey, man, do, do your business how you got to do it. I ain't even yeah. knock. Oh, when something not for me, I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. talk my shit, but it it really be just jokes. But get your yeah. money. Yeah, nah. What you was about to say? And uh, um, because I forgot that we have our elections coming up. Mm. Or whatnot, Who? and um, yeah, elections are coming oh. up. Yeah, the elections are coming up. And <laughs> yesterday, uh, Sheila yeah, Sheila Jackson Lee 
popped up. Yeah. She popped up. To the up. address? Yeah. I can't vote for it then. <laughs> yeah. But no, nah, it was crazy because it was, Damn. this was the older crowd during the daytime. So this is. This I, can't, is I can't do it, Ross. This nigga here. Bro. I don't want my elected leader going to the address. I'm sorry. Well, she was just there to speak. That was it. She wasn't there. She literally spoke. Fam, you know how many places she can speak at? Well, she just happened to be there. So she that she right next that was right next to the medical center. You could have pulled up and text the children or that's true. That is know, true. I'm, I'm, it does look a little center. better if you was to go to like a hospital with kids that have like mental you know, not mental. Just but. issues and any, and any type of issues, sickness. period. There's so many buildings. But okay. I get what she was doing I because lost my, she lost my vote. <laughs> Did she really? Were you even gonna vote? No. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Because I like this is the first year I can honestly tell you I don't even. Well, like, this this is uh, mayor. Like yeah. when you think about presidential, I don't even know what the. It goes from the mayor to the damn all of them. I don't know Turner. who the hell to vote for anymore. Like I'm just like it's. <laughs> I ain't finna. Ju- I ain't gonna do that because yeah. it's important. Your vote does count and it does matter mm-hmm. if you feel that way. But I'm just. I'm kind of stuck on voting because I voted for Biden strongly because of their student loans and a lot of other stuff <laughs> and rhetoric. And I mean, they are getting forgiven, just not for us. That's, <laughs> that's it. Nail Nick coming to creep up like, hey, big head. Oh, so you, I've actually, oh, you for thought the first, we was going to forget that? First time I actually started paying back on my student loans. Damn, you know, really? Yeah, I started paying back. Uh, they got to that's because I, had, I was able to get some extra money, so. I was like, fuck it, bro. What they, that mean? Because they gonna, get, eventually they're going to start garnishing my wages, Shit. bro. Bro, who said? Government say. Shit. <laughs> you have to hey, so I, I started mean. paying well, on I already bought my house. <laughs> they should have before we bought it. Facts. Yeah, Even right. on the next one. I don't give a damn. You're going to have to catch me. <laughs> bro, we do it. Are you sure you want to keep this part in? You want to cut this out? You oh, started it. You oh, wanted to go down this lane. We're going to catch you, Mr. Henry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this nigga think we... Okay. That's that shit, bro. Just because you want to start paying yours back <laughs> now. No, no. I'm shit. We supposed to stick this in together. They, I was bro, trying, bro. You can, bro. If all of us stick together. They can't get all of us. <laughs> you know what's crazy? I think the homie Joe, shout out to the homie Joe, I think he paid his all off. Yeah, that's dope. <laughs> I, I think diff- he paid his all off. I have off. different responsibilities. No kids, no nothing. <laughs> I mean, I think he paid his all off. Hey, so. that's cool. Nah, and I'm happy for him. I'm happy he was able hey, to do that. That's, that's cool. awesome. But you gonna have to catch me, fam. <laughs> what? <laughs> I just, half of these niggas ain't even doing what their degree is. This is true. You think I'm gonna pay, bro? That man, I got so fuck it. Yeah, man. So I, uh, I don't know. These niggas be because I was I was approved to get uh, science degrees. Twenty thousand removed. I got approved for it. So I would only owe like maybe ten thousand. I need but, the whole thing to be wiped off. They once you had to fill out that form and all right, I got approved. We were waiting. They didn't pr- yeah. approve the bill. So only certain people. Obviously, I think they said uh, foreigners. With, no, I think people disabilities. with disabilities. They they get a chance at getting theirs um, forgiven and whatnot. I feel a little. I disabled. think shit. Honestly, the people in the I medical have a question, field, but I don't want to be. <laughs> yeah, don't. I think the people in the medical field, like the surgeons and stuff like that, they, they should, don't they, even. They don't even get their that's forgiven. What I'm, saying, I'm like, bro, damn, that's kind of fucked up. They're saving lives. They will forever be in debt. And you can't have forgiven. They probably me. feel like they make too much money for that. But, they they make millions. No, nah, but shit, they student loans be. No, their deep. student loans be. Some okay. of them doctors and stuff be just okay with paying they, forever. Yeah, they know they will never pay it off. Because med school and all that and bro, residency, you got to pay a lot of money. So upwards to sometimes half a million in debt. I feel like if you a public servant and you in the medical field and stuff mm-hmm. like that, bro, that should that should automatically be something yeah. that you can do. It's like some type of incentives or something. Maybe like, maybe there is, and I don't know, but. <laughs> Because I think there's some places where if you work at a certain place for long enough, they'll forgive them. Depending on how many lives you save and lose. <laughs> no, bro. Nah, no, seriously, bro. That. You better shit work hard. I think it's I think it's for some programs if you stay with the program and complete it, and then if you stay at a certain branch or whatever, they have some incentives where they'll forgive your loans, depending on how long you're there. But you know, once again, I still just think if you go through the process. <laughs> Because we know some people that are going through the medical field and how time consuming and how it's a scam, bro. <laughs> how long they be there to learn the stuff they need to learn. I do think there should be some type of compensation where it's like, all right, yeah, I finally reached my my end goal and I'm I'm a surgeon. I'm a whatever I am I'm doing, but I shouldn't have to be worrying about two hundred thousand dollar plus loans that and I got to pay back. And that's crazy, because I think one of the black guys uh, mm-hmm. sitting in the house. 
Um, and if I'm misquoting, just look it up somewhere in there. This guy uh-huh. had two hundred and something thousand dollars in student loans, Jesus and his Christ. he's against the forgiveness program. But he was loaned two hundred thousand dollars to pay his off by somebody, so he don't even have any student loans because he was able to get his forgiven in a way. So he's against it being forgiven altogether for everybody else. But he's okay with getting it from somebody else and getting his. That's forgiven. how he. That's that's, how he that's just what it is, though. That's yeah. That's stupid. You know. I feel like if you are able to put money towards all out of all seriousness, do that. That's yeah. cool. But bro, they be wanting you to go to school, get all rack up all this, you know, mm-hmm. these loans and stuff like that, just for you to come out and get a job paying thirty five thousand, you know, and they it's like yeah. it don't even be matching up. Yeah. You know, you can't pay me this and then I'm this much in debt. Mm-hmm. That's right. that's how you know they keep things in perspective. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we go they, here. They want real you. Scary. Scary. I hours. mean, it is scary hours. <laughs> so if we don't show up on the, there ain't no next episode. Well, we Uncle Sam. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you don't want to pay for shit, and you revealing too much shit. We we got something for you, niggas. <laughs> right. At least I'm gonna get this pot out. That's all right. No, no. <laughs> Tell my story. <laughs> Fucking give up. Delete the video. Yeah, we're gonna, off we're gonna get it out there. At least you're gonna have to put it out. <laughs> It's up to you, Nisha, to finish our work. Go tell everybody to repost. Repost, repost before they take it down. For sure, for sure. Nah, they're good for that. But nah, man, uh, on a serious note, without us getting taken away, I want to stay here for as long as I can. Um, What's new, man? Oh, uh, shit. Halloween is getting real scary out here. It it's is. getting cold, and I'm glad. Bro, I seen the funniest clip this morning on Twitter mm-hmm. of a dude was doing the... um. I don't know if it was the same guy that did the voiceover for the uh, fool one that we failed. Uh, Super uh, Super Ray, 14K. But yeah. it sounded like him. But mm-hmm. so homies put a ghost um, costume on a drone. Oh, shit, for real? And it was flying it by people. Uh, I'm like, bro, that is the funniest. Oh, shit. Even though I'll it's be messed up. Because it's floating technically. Yeah. And, it's like, and then they wait until people like walking at night and groups of people just uh, like by the bus stop. Oh my god! And they flying a drone to people, and I'm talking about, bro. I'm talking about, I'm dying. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I would be terrified. Hey, yeah. yeah, for sure. Like it ain't your normal. Yeah, no hell no. The, I, would, yeah. I would think it's, it's aliens so or shit coming down. Shit, I don't know what I would do, bro. I would probably lose all hold of my balls. <laughs> you and the balls. Bro. Yeah, your balls trying to go away when you <laughs> scared. You <laughs> you never got scared of getting the ass whooping. You just let like just ah, I can't. I gotta be scared as hell. <laughs> like I gotta literally. I just accepted my fate. I knew what was coming. <laughs> I was one of those kids. He's a bad like ass. I would get scared, but I'm like, ah, I'm here now. <laughs> badass. <laughs> no, there ain't no badass. No, I, nah. That's because you ain't got that whooping whooping. I ain't. Oh no, I've gotten the whooping whooping, bro. Like that. that. I've if if you've never been whooped with a switch after getting out the tub, butt ass naked. I don't want to hear it, bro. Oh, that's shit. Not, you probably don't want to hear it, bro. I got <laughs> yeah. stories mind, and bro. stuff I've been through. We're going to get a therapist here. <laughs> the these, stuff I've been pods. through. And I, I love my grandma to death, but you know, that's old school. Switches and yeah. stuff. I think I, I think it was, this is what pissed me off. I love you, grandma. I love you so much. Yeah, so <laughs> this is what pissed me oh, off, man, bro. That's before he tell the story. <laughs> I have to say that because I was so mad. So I didn't get in trouble because of my grades. I was on a road student. This is mm-hmm. an elementary. So I had all A's, one B, all A's. He rolled in on her. All right. So he's stupid. It wasn't because of that. It's because my conduct. So uh, I would have. Yeah, that S- was the second part. Yeah, the second part. So the I satisfactory. Satis- satisfactory. I would have a couple satisfactory. I'm like, cool. And then I saw a P. And I was like, <laughs> that's oh, poor, yeah. poor conduct. And then I, I think I had a pass. U. Unsatisfactory. Unsatisfactory. And yeah. I was like, oh shit. The P was the worst one, though, I yeah. want to say. No, no, the U was unsatisfactory. I thought it was E S P E S U P. I think, oh, well, it could have been. Satisfactory, been. unsatisfactory, and P. Yeah, I had both, so it, it didn't, didn't really matter. matter. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so my mind, I was like, well, she see I got all A's, you know what I'm saying? So she may let me slide or whatever. When she Yo, see grandma? my court, yeah, because at that time I was staying with my grandma. Um, so, cause my school was closer to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so I was like, all right, she probably won't get too mad. Right. Cause it's like, <laughs> I mean, I'm doing good. I'm top of my class. And bro. she's around probably what age around this time? Uh, it had to be in like fifties, bro. Okay. She was like maybe early fifties or whatever. So my she, grandma was she too in tune. Yeah. yeah she's in yeah. tune. So 
I show her a report card. We eat dinner. I think I remember what I had. It was spaghetti that night. It was cool. You know it sparked something. <laughs> so what you ate. She she was like, all right, good grades. The conduct. I was like, I'm sorry, grandma. You know, and then teachers be tripping. Not I'm sorry, grandma. <laughs> he said so, teachers be tripping. He knew his fate. I knew my fate, but yeah. I didn't know how bad it was going to be. Because you thought when on a roll, you was at least going to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a good talking to. Yeah, yeah. So ate dinner. Everything's normal, bro. Everything's cool. Like you know, I had got me some juice, extra juice. Like it was, it was cool. I'm, I'm happy, bro. I take my bath, whatever. I'm having a real good time. Like all right, you know, it's about bedtime. So usually, if she gonna whoop me, she gonna whoop me usually before dinner. That's how it always was. So I knew. So you can eat good after that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm like, I'm about to go to bed. And at the time, I don't think the doorknob in the bathroom had a lock on it. This oh, is an old shit. house, so it didn't really have like a lock on it. And, then, and you don't need to lock nothing in here. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what she was saying. Mm-hmm. So, uh, <laughs> trust me. So she came in there. I had just got out the shower. I'm like, "Hey, Grandma, I'm still in here." And all I Trying saw was a know. switch just start swinging. There. I'm like, "Hey, what are you doing?" In the shower. Like, lady, no, I, as doing? soon as I stepped out the tub, she started whipping. The with crazy the thing switch, is, bro. is her timing. The fact yeah, that she, she knew. knew. Damn. So she heard it's when like that water went off. It's like she must have stood by the door and wait for the water to cut off. Yeah. And I'm like, wait, so he thought no. He was so, be- so I'm getting whooped with a switch, bro. And I'm, I'm just, like, ah, I'm screaming. I'm like, Grandma, what are you doing? She and she, she, I told you, I'm getting back. Conduct. I'm like, Grandma, I made all A's. What are you doing? Why are you getting a whoop oh and you having a conversation? God. Bro, because I'm like, yo, stop. So at this point... <laughs> I'm running. Yeah. Mind you, I don't have enough time to put no clothes on, right. bro, or nothing. So I'm running away from my grandma. With no clothes. With no clothes. And my go-to method, whenever I got a whooping with my grandma, was run to the garage, open up the garage, and run out. Because she would never <laughs> chase me outside. Right. So <laughs> I, I, I was desperate times called for desperate wild. measures, bro. I had to open up the garage, and luckily none of the kids in the cofa sack was outside. They were inside. You Thank ran out God. ass naked. I ran out the curb. Was it cold outside? <laughs> nah, but I mean, it was cold in relatively when you hop out the tub, but yeah, yeah. I'm running around. I would have asked whooping. You get a whole real quick. But ass naked, bro, of where my grandma too. Stop it. Like, what are you doing? With no towel or nothing. Just... This nigga Ross almost caught a case for Bro, so public I, nudity. I stood out there for a little bit. She's like, you got to come back in here. And I was like, she's right. I do got to come back in. I'm not about to stand out here and see these neighbors come out here. Some people that I'm, you know. But you lucky they ain't had cameras back then. If they were like, oh, it would have been genius. He would have went viral. Yeah, they probably would have called CBS. <laughs> they definitely, yeah, they definitely would have called yeah. CBS. So I go back in there. Wrong two. Nah, Fight. she actually, she left. She was like, you put your clothes on and go to bed. And I'm in there. I'm crying because I'm mad. I'm embarrassed. Even though no one saw it. You don't know that. I, oh, man. I hope no one saw it. But no one mentioned it to me when I went out to play the next day. So I was like, all right. I'm hey, fucking. bro, I was eating, bro. And I saw your ass. <laughs> I thought I was tripping. But it made me so mad. And that's when I was like, mama, I can't stay over here no more. Like, I got to stay. I got to stay with you because right. I can't do this. Like, grandma's still in the slavery days. Yeah, like, grandma whooped me and ran me out the house butt-ass naked. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> it's it's those conversations. But I know your mama. She came and got you the next day. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she does. <laughs> she she, 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 like, right, she did yeah. not play about her baby boy. Like, right. I was like, okay. <laughs> That's what I was about to say. Parents don't play about their kids mm-hmm. when they feel like anybody, even their yep. parents, their own parents went too far. Yep. Yeah. Like, they'll be like, all right, but you ain't have to do all that. Yeah. Then you, just, like, yeah, 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 you, yeah, you yeah, see the it. argument between the moms. Yeah. And like, oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. I used to like arguments between my dad and like my uncles and stuff. Mm-hmm. Cause I was like, damn, what's about that? What kind of dark ass shit you liked it? Nah. I, <laughs> this nigga here, bro. I'm saying, cause, you know, my dad was a fighter mm-hmm. coming up. And some of my uncles used to thought they were just the baddest things walking. But my dad was always so cool. He, mm-hmm. He's a funny guy. Mm-hmm. So when you would see him, he always chilling and laughing. But he didn't play about, you know, when things got serious, he didn't play. Mm-hmm. Like he didn't, he had a very short temper for like bullshit. Mm-hmm. And I rarely could see, tell you as a grown man how many times I seen my dad argue, mm-hmm. like with other grown men. Yeah. Like he didn't, it's like, what are we gonna do? That yeah. was literally it. I've seen my dad in quite a few fights. And he, this nigga didn't, he just got up and said, all right, 
Like, what are we finna do? Like, we ain't finna sit here and argue. Mm-hmm. We're not finna sit. So, when we go around some family, a lot of my family, they like to turn up and drink. Mm-hmm. So, when some of the uncles would get lit, you know, they, they get loose off the good juice. Yeah, and yeah, you be yeah. wanting to kind of say things to everybody. And I remember one day, my dad was like, all right, ain't nobody trying to hear all that to one of my uncles. And he was like, what? What'd you say, nigga? And then my dad said, we ain't trying to hear all that. And he said, man, I come over there. And my dad got up and the whole family just... <laughs> It took everybody to come in between them two to stop them mm. from going. And I'm just sitting there like, boy, if I had some popcorn, I'm like, man, this is it. You're here, bro. <laughs> I got cotton candy on daddy, bro. He's been the cotton candy on daddy. You stupid, bro. Yeah, I had my own WWE live events <laughs> as a kid. But he, I mean, I'm talking about my pops is cool, chill. He never mm-hmm. never bothered. He always relaxed. You met him. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. kicking. So <laughs> to even imagine him mm-hmm. now back then is it's weird now. Mm-hmm. But it just shows you how much... They change, mm-hmm. and it it's the it's a blessing, and it's also irritating because now with my kids, they got the most patience in the world. <laughs> yep. Even when my kids be cutting up, they be mm-hmm. like, "Oh, don't worry about that. They mm-hmm. just kids." I'm like, "Well, I wasn't no kid back in '96, '97 when I broke this and mm-hmm. so and so. You didn't mm-hmm. give a damn back then, but now as grandparents, grandparents they just oh yeah, they're super relaxed. They get to." Today's grandparents, because yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, apparently it wasn't like that. Mm-mm, nah, I was getting back, ass whooping down mm-mm. the street. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I mean it happens, man. I'm once again all because I got <clears throat> peas and use and conduct, man, bro. So don't get peas and. Well, I don't even think they give out peas anymore. Do they do the conduct stuff? Like they still give out a. a... Yeah, but I don't see ease and all that. No, it's like PV and what the fuck? Pro- nah, that's like and... that's not that's like your um how you progressing and developing as far as in. I don't even see conduct anymore. Then. So they don't. Oh, you know what? They send home like the folders, and it's a smiley face or like a yeah. Note. They they send daily. They yeah. send daily conduct. Oh, daily. Oh, yeah. So yeah, we didn't got a few of them. Where yeah, we've had a lot of those. Couldn't, couldn't Talking in class. Yeah, I couldn't. Do Very the talkative. We get that a lot. Yeah, I, I could not yeah. do the daily. I would have got whipped. I'd be like, damn, what the hell are we talking about? What <laughs> what is we talking about? There's a lot of talk about when you were a kid in this we day. And talk age. about this learning. Yeah, talk about your learning. That's what you need to talk about. Pay attention to the teacher. Stop talking to everybody. What do you say has gotten the most? I think Isaiah gotten way more write ups. Hell, last semester, last year, oh, that nigga was on the road every oh, day. Bro. Every oh, day, rid of every day? Yeah. Bro, but I'm I like... mean, but the thing is, he kept A's. Like Isaiah is a straight A student, but he stay having some damn note on his folder every day. Sounds like me when yeah. I was young. It's <laughs> always, it's always somebody doing something to him. Yeah, man. That's of course, man, that's, kids be. That's you... the starter pack. Come on, yeah. man, kids. I was be... just sitting watching. Yeah, man, that's I'd be literally. Like, what I'd be like, damn, like can nobody do that to you every day? Like, stop. It got to be a different excuse. Something else happened. Hey, man. I don't know, man. Some I, days he just don't show you the folder, and you forget. Yeah, and then you look at it two days later, and it's like, <laughs> wait, what happened Tuesday and Wednesday? Oh my God. We didn't already got you. We didn't already have fun this weekend. Yeah, you so. didn't play the game with daddy. You stream with him and I, all that, and I'll after that, you, man. Ooh, no, I, I nope, feel nope. your pain, man. I'll be getting remad for yeah. the week before the weekend. I feel like, pain, damn, I we should have saw this. I feel your pain, I say. Like right I'm now, kidding. so right now we're on the streak with them because their birthday is the next week. Mm. Oh, Rise is this week, this weekend coming. Oh, okay, and Isaiah's okay. is next weekend. Nobody's deserving of it right now. So we told them that they don't they don't deserve a birthday party. So uh, right now they're both in the in the light of not getting a party right now. If they can show us within the next what six, seven days that <laughs> that the, 48 hours. <laughs> that Damn. they can uh they can do something, then we'll go ahead and proceed. I told her, I said, if there's any party, mommy's not sending any invites after Wednesday. So you that, literally that, have that never works though. Nisha need, need be capped. Nisha came. <laughs> so it's gonna be I, I can hold it down. She has two days. She has two days. I can hold it down. Nisha can already have it planned. She, exactly. <laughs> you know, I, I'm waiting for that invitation. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting. Okay. Well, I her can birthday's, hold it down. Our birthday's Monday, so we're gonna do something. It's, Look, you just you just said this Sunday. You just if said we you're were gonna do, do something. If we're Kalisha, whatever. <laughs> we uh, she yeah, already she, let it be known. Yeah, we cap. know. Yeah, we know. <laughs> now I gotta okay. be looking at it as a sad ass dad who wasn't the one wanted to do something. Yeah, well. I'm trying to put my foot down. I still remember that day. Uh, she got in trouble. I'll never forget that. Day. I'll, right, I'll yeah. never forget that. I'll tell her I this when she get older. Yeah, we had just finished recording. No, it was in the middle of y'all recording. You oh. stopped your recording. <laughs> Yeah, because you know, that's why I, said we I was recording. on the phone with the teacher while you were recording, mm-hmm. and then I had went in the room and finished the conversation. Bruh. And then <laughs> as I as I was walking out, I said, "Wait, Warren, you got to hear this." And yeah. then that's when y'all you was like, "Hold on, hold on." 
bro. She had made me so mad. She made me go get the belt. Yeah. And I didn't even have to swing at her, bro. bro she, I, was, her, I, she was begging like a Negro slave. She was like, no Bro, I hurt. I didn't even have to whoop her, dog. You never whoop her either. So it was like, bro, that's why I didn't know why she was so hurt. She was like, daddy's. No, please. I was hurt because what she was doing, like, my mm-hmm. thing is respect. You don't be in no classroom disrespecting the teacher. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't you don't ever, you know, to an adult, you show respect. Now, if it's anything showing otherwise, that's why we teach them to have a strong mm-hmm. understanding of their surrounding and what's going on. If you know a teacher is off and it's something about their vibe that's not right, come talk to us. Mm-hmm. Talk to another adult, an assistant principal, or somebody else. There's always somebody there that makes you feel comfortable to talk mm-hmm. to them. And if, damn it, you know to come talk to us. Cause bro, we be batting for our kids, bro. Oh, yeah. We be ready to call. We be ready to pull up to the school <laughs> over everything, oh, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, just to make sure stuff is right. Because we know how it can be dealing with a bunch of kids in the class, mm-hmm. so we want to make sure ours isn't being a part of that problem. Yeah. Like you're not gonna have that issue here. It's a bunch of kids already that teachers have to deal with, and I pray for them daily. But mm-hmm. sometimes it can be the teacher. Yeah. So that's why I try to make it to where we have this, you know, open, you know, policy where hey, come talk to us, yeah. let us know what's going on at all times. Don't lie to me. That's yep. number one. That's because the main thing. It's hard for me to trust your word now yeah. if I go up there looking crazy and they're like, oh no, we got footage. Actually, there's such and such people said that your child was, just don't make me look crazy like that. Yeah. If we can do that, we cool. So just to know that she was the one, and this was a sweet teacher yeah. that she yeah. had. I mean, uh-huh. this teacher was, but she had got a little besides herself. And once when I was hearing that phone call, like, Fam, we just was doing this and this and this. Oh, for you. yeah. yeah. Think you being the best person ever. You know, every day they get in the car, I'm high school today. Oh, good, great. Well, the problem I'm with that to was feel stupid on for, all that, that. for that teacher specifically, she was like, she was so sweet and nice that she didn't want to call her. Uh, so she was saying that it had been multiple instances that happened. It had been and, a while. And it had been a while to where it started accumulating. And she was like, man, I got to, I had to call you because it's not even like her. It's she not even like her. And she said, it's, it's happened so much that it made me like, okay, well, and it was like eight o'clock when she called me too. So I was mm, like, Yeah, it was late. I was too. like, Why is she calling me so late? Like, She's like, I'm so sorry for calling so late. She's like, I just got out of a I think she had conferences or something. Mm, yeah. And she was yeah. like, But yeah, it was tough. Well, that's somebody that care, a teacher that cares. Yeah. If they didn't care, then it'll be like, all right, whatever. Well, I can tell you that was the only conversation we had that year. For sure. <laughs> she didn't get in trouble oh, no fam. more. I, I think remember. she still ain't got a trouble since then. Mariah's been like great. <laughs> Good. And it usually takes one. <laughs> Cause I yeah. I've never heard Mariah I've I've heard Isaiah get whooping. It's, it's, yeah, it's, he's he's yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, but, normal Tuesday. But Mariah though, she was I the fear of God was in that room, <laughs> bro. I and I hear you swing or nothing. It was just the fear, yeah, bro. Of she, God, I was bro. hot, fam. It was it was like almost like let down. And I think more than just the whooping, I just yeah. think she don't like when. She let me down or like yeah. let us down. Like when oh, she, yeah, for sure. I felt so like, damn, I I thought you was doing good this whole time and you've been messing up like it to the level of what it was. I was like, yeah, bro, like all that shit daddy's daughter did. Yeah. That, that's out the window right now. You finna catch some action. Cause, yeah. you know, it's like, we're not raising you to be like that. And just in general, like you spare the rod, you spoil the child. Like yep. people nowadays gotta realize, like, we, we communicate with our children. And it's, it depends on your child too. Like you can communicate with your children. Like, there's nothing wrong with having conversation and stuff like that, but they need some type of consequences. They need to be pulled back from the cell phones. They need to mm-hmm. be pulled back from the TV. You know, it's just, we just, sometimes people punish them by going to their room. Shit, I go to my room too in 2023. Yeah. Yeah, I got the Xbox, yeah, PlayStation, stuff, PC. TV. Well, Shit. my mom, you know, once once tech started getting better, my mom was taking all that away. And yeah. that shit, boy, that shit. But you could, could you imagine them trying to do that shit now? I mean, I could change the password before my mom and them figure out what to do. And I'll be unlocking my Wi-Fi before they even get out of my room. Oh, I'm, oh, it's locked? Okay. Like the kids, funny, because l- l- last night they had just found <coughs> out that we have access to cut off their internet. Mm. <laughs> so we, they were trying to watch TV. And uh, Nisha, they, Nisha, their totally bedtime is 9.30. Yeah. So they were like, well, well okay, we're going to just go upstairs and we'll when 9.30 hits, we'll cut the TV off. I said, oh, okay, just go upstairs. I said, it's okay, we'll just cut your internet off at 9.30. And they, was, and they stopped. Turned around, I was like, well, you wait, what do, do you that? mean? You can do that? <laughs> he was like, yeah. yeah. She was like, yeah, we can. And they look like, I was oh. like, don't and She was like, how do you do it? And I was like, don't worry about all that. Yeah, don't just go ahead. Run one along. day they were going to figure it out. Like, oh, they are. Just so for now, we still got them. But, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. A little while, it's not going to be like that. But yeah. I'm glad they still so green to oh, yeah. a lot of the stuff that be going on and, you mm-hmm. know, some of the things. Even though I know they 
school with other kids, mm-hmm. I still like the fact that they they still have that innocence. Yeah, so, yeah, nah, keep that as long as you possibly can. So, because some people out here, <laughs> he about to get into it. No, nah, I wasn't about to get into nothing, man. <laughs> but I, I wanted to ask you: Have you ever been since it is you know Halloween episode? Have you ever had a situation where like? When you got to that age where you could stay by yourself, like mm-hmm. we all, you know, as yeah. kids, we're like, oh man, we feel like we adults. We, you know, what I'm saying, granted, we ain't pay for none of the food or anything else of in there, not. but we still feel like, hey, we 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 run the household right now until the parents get back home. Mm-hmm. Has there ever been like a situation where you like by yourself and you like you heard something or you saw something creepy that kind of freaked you out a little bit? Yeah, I think I was at the crib by myself. Um, mm-hmm. I forgot how old I was and. um it had to be like a eighth, mm-hmm. eighth grade, ninth grade. Yeah, that's that prime time. One of them by yourself. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I want to say, um, <laughs> I was in the room <laughs> and I was coming out, and I think the mop, it was a mop or a broom that had fell. <laughs> Boy, I lost. I like lost my life, bro. Like I, <laughs> I man, I must have ran to the room. You know how you do that? Look that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> And you do that long ass stare, mm-hmm. bro. I, jar- I darted to the room and I closed the door and I just stayed sat- in there. I didn't want to tell my mom because I wanted to always stay by myself. Oh, uh, yeah, you don't want to. Like, I want to stay by myself, so yeah. I didn't want to mess it up. But shit, at that moment, I didn't really give a damn. But it wasn't <laughs> like it was no cell phone that I could yeah, call. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, yeah, I, and shit, it probably was a. You never know what it was that kicked him off. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> this nigga thinking of rational reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Probably was a rat or something. Yeah, right, right. You never know what, you know. Uh, I think I, my mom used to always tell me, because I was always afraid of scary movies, but I would still end up be like peeking yeah, to, watch. <laughs> <laughs> to watch. You be watching scary movies all the time. Yeah, now I'm not. I, fucking, it's whatever. Yeah, but a lot, a lot of times I'm laughing at them, because right. it's, it's just quite hilarious how people end up in situations. But I it's remember this dark. is when The Ring came out. <laughs> Movie ring, and I remember. Oh, with the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my mom had rented the movie <laughs> from Blockbuster. I'll never forget this, bro. My mom had rented the movie from Blockbuster. She told me. She said, "Michael, I already know you. I love the Michaels. Do not right. watch. You don't need to be watching this movie because you know how you get. Because back then it used to be so bad. Mm-hmm. Like, I would get sick, bro. Yeah. I would throw up. Oh my god. I would be so scared because I would." Yeah, right. <laughs> Wait a minute. Though. Yes, bro. I'm thrown up from uh, the movie It, the original one, the TV oh, yeah, show. That, I can't get that one. Because we had the no, same type of tub. Don't, don't side with this nigga, bro. Nah, we had the same type of tub that old dude died in. We had the exact same tub. So when he shot, that, if, Ross was that type of kid. And bro. I got so sick, bro. <laughs> I fucking threw I, up, you know, I bro. believe it. Because you, so, you did. Because I would have bad nightmares, bro. So... And my mom was like, nah, you ain't sleeping in me. <laughs> you going to stay in there because I told you not to watch the movie. So Ring comes out. And I'm like, man, that shit ain't scary. Parenting 101. Yeah. Right? You going to deal with it. Yeah, no, that, that's exactly what my mom, because she, she would tell me, you didn't listen. Now you your ass deal is scared. With that ghost. So you going to sleep in that bedroom, turn on your lava lamp, and go up to bed. The lava, lamp didn't, lava, help, lava bro. lamp. the lava lamp didn't help sometimes. So What's that all, nigga? Shit, they don't give a fuck. How much light in here? <laughs> If I'm scared, I'm scared. So we watch, she watching the movie in the living room. You I said by it. yourself, though. Like, huh? I got a bunch of them stories. You said by yourself. No, I'm getting to it. So watch the movie. When I'm not watching it, but I can hear it in the living room. So I'm peeking. I should be asleep. This is like a weekend. I'm peeking, watching it through the crack. And I'm getting kind of creeped out, but I'm still watching it. So I know the premise of the movie. Right. And, you know... When after seven days you get a phone call, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. And the TV static. And we had one of the old school TVs that would do that, right? Right. So after seeing the movie, I was freaked out. I was scared, had nightmares. Hey, mom, can I sleep with you? I told your ass not to watch it. Go right. in there. So after all that happened, I think there was one day my mom had to work late. It was, uh, I think it may have been a Friday night, bro. So I'm by myself. Chilling, man. I'm, you know what I'm saying, having a good time. You know, I'm like, man, I'm about to hop on the N64, whatever I had. Right. Uh, some other console good I times, had. Good yeah, times. good times. I kid you not. The TV <laughs> turned on, bro. Niggas trying to put it on channel three? Uh, did it turn on or did it, I think the TV static. Just randomly, because I had it on channel three. That's, you know, the usual the game, the whatever. Input. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And then it's static. You know, you know. And I was like, wait, what? Because I just saw the movie. That's so funny, I was like, oh, wait, I accidentally watched the movie. Oh, no, bro, I was freaking the fuck out because it's static. Oh, because I was like, yo, so I turned it off. I turned the TV off. I don't know if the man upstairs was playing a joke on me to teach me a lesson to listen to my mom, <laughs> but it turned back on oh, and yeah, it's static again. I would have lost my so shit. So I turned it off. I unplugged it. I, I'm calling my mama, bro. She at work. And I'm like, oh, mama, mama, I'm Jeez. sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm damn near crying. I watched the movie. I should have watched it. So I'm wrong with the TV. She's like, boy, you don't get off my damn phone. All right, I'm at work. I'm at work. Sweet. I told you that's not to watch it. You just probably seeing stuff. Survive. <laughs> <laughs> I will deal with it when I get home. Just go in the room. Boy, I must have stayed in that room, and I didn't come out yeah, until my mom up. came in there. And I was like, something wrong with the TV? She turned on TV. TV was fine. You was hallucinating. Bro. And when I was, throw up. My, but that's the thing. Our TV, <laughs> was, the TV. our TV was messed up, so it would sometimes do that. But that was the first time it did it, and then it would start doing well, it. That's, the, that's a terrible time for it to be the first oh, time. Oh, nah, bro. So you, did you learn your lesson? No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> I don't feel sorry for you then. Obviously, all the scary movies come out to go see him. Yeah. I wish the phone would have rang on your ass. You would have lost you would have lost your shit. Um, there's another movie. Uh, this time I was at my dad's. And my dad, he didn't give a damn. I was able to listen to <laughs> shout out to my dad. I was able to listen to music with curse words. Oh, I was yeah. able, like, he was cool with it. So yeah. you know, I was able to see some movies I wasn't supposed to see, like mm-hmm. on some like rated R or whatever. So Got you. I think this is a movie them. called Darkness Falls. It's about um, you know how they have like they turn like those little lo- like little old folks lore stories, like those the good little oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, stories, yeah, yeah. but they, they have a dark twist. Yeah. It's about the two fairy. And basically mm-hmm. the two fairy would pretty mm-hmm. much if you if you turn off the lights, she could kill you. The only way she couldn't kill you if is you if there's the light lights on. on. So that automatically amplified my fear of the dark. I shouldn't have watched it. But my dad, he was watching it. So I was up watching it with him. Boy, when I say, once again, end up getting sick. Because I I was so scared. So I threw up. But it fucked with me so bad to the point that anytime my teeth was getting loose. This nigga here, bro. (laughs) I ain't want Your my teeth, teeth to was, fall out. This nigga Ross so I was trying to keep my teeth in. So, you was gluing your teeth back? In? <laughs> no, I was Ross, just bro. like when my tooth would get loose, I'm like, oh fuck. Stop eating. This nigga <laughs> I wouldn't was eat no so more. Scared. So it was because my mom she used to do this cool thing where she anytime my tooth would come out, I would just put it in my pillow and she would give me money. You know what I'm saying? Why did you say this cool thing? Like we all didn't have that stuff. I mean, wait, why did he try to seclude himself? She was, she was, she was, she was My mom would do this up. cool thing where nah, she was looking your boy up. Sometimes it would be money, sometimes it would be gifts. I was like, damn, two fair is lit. So yeah. at one point I knew what it was, but it's you know. tried to make it seem like he's the only one that got something. Man, for the that shit was cool, bro. I, you know, I was, I was, I was, I was balling back then. So, <laughs> That's wild. so it would get to the point because she knew that. Because I was like, yeah, my tooth about to come out, or one of my teeth about to come out. She was like, all right, cool. But it bro, wasn't cool no more. It wasn't cool no more. And I was like, <laughs> I ain't want that motherfucker to come out because I ain't trying to have what's her name to come get me. You know what I'm saying? That's so it was funny. it was to the point where my mom noticed it. She's like, but if you don't let that tooth fall out, <laughs> and I have to tell her why, why I ain't want the tooth to fall out. And she, this is why you shouldn't be watching those scary movies. She ended up calling my dad. Yeah, I know. My dad about to say that now next. dad. Damn it, boy. That's why I told you. Ass. <laughs> why you tell her this? You snitching? God. Wait till you come back out here. Oh, my God, bro. That's so, hilarious. Man. Nah, that. that <laughs> That is hilarious. Yeah. But, bro, I had, when we talk about, mm-hmm. I, you know, my fear of Chucky. Oh, uh, yeah. So. Um, that movie fucked me up, too. I threw up. I used, to, too. I used to have the, uh, in our first house, I used mm-hmm. to have uh, the middle room. So, my room was actually, I think, like a den. Mm-hmm. So it was no door, mm-hmm. like all the rooms. You you had to go through my room in order to get to my parents' room, my other sister' room, and my uh my middle sister' room was in the front, but mm-hmm. she had a door. But you you could see the living room, mm-hmm. like I could see out the black pitch mm-hmm. black in the living room and all that. So I hated sleeping in that room. I would always sleep with my mom and dad. So mm-hmm. I was an advocate 
in in they bed because yeah, 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 yeah. I just had the open access. Like yeah. shit, if somebody robbed us, I'm the first nigga. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so I actually wonder why now I had that room. Like, hey, take him. He the lightest one. But um, That's the li- oh, <clears throat> fam, I Chucky. Wasn't supposed to be watching Chucky. Yeah, it's always and wasn't supposed to be watching something. I just, I don't know what it was, bro. <laughs> I don't like dolls and shit that's just freakish fast. Mm-hmm. And you remember Chucky, when he would run, he would just be quick as shit. Man. Yeah. I hated that shit. So, bro, one night, man, I could have sworn I heard something in the kitchen. <laughs> and I'm talking about, I was trying not to go in the room with my mom and dad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in that, and I had to have that door open. So I mean, the living room, the kitchen, everything just open. It's just, it's just darkness in there. Nightmare and fuel. When I tell you, <laughs> I don't know why the cover felt like a shield, like a protective shield, like an armor shield or something. I was drenched in sweat <laughs> with that cover over my head, and I made a little pocket hole to yep. be able to breathe, mm-hmm. bro. <laughs> and there. every little noise, I was just. <laughs> And I'd just be under the covers just, Aww. bro, I'm talking about. Oh, and then when it, when it got too much, I was like, man, fuck this. I'm yes. running the room. Yep. <laughs> yeah. My yep. mom and dad already like, come on. Yep. Come on. Uh-huh. But yeah, that was, I think one year that they, they uh, one of my sisters actually got a Chucky doll. Oh, and they do. And uh, yeah. yeah, my oh. sisters were savages. Bro. That's fucked my, up, My bro. middle sister, she. That's messed up, bro. <sighs> she was a savage, bro. They they just did shit to, you know. That's so That's so up. low. Yeah, no, it's very low. You know, Next so. time I see them, y'all ain't no good. Yeah, no, nah, like, What you talking tell about, them. Ross? Definitely tell them. Nah, y'all ain't no good. That's cold, bro. I need to get a therapist so I can unleash, yeah, unpack this the you right got way. got some unpacking to do. That's, Not just on the pod, but. That's to, cold as hell, yeah, bro. This is the type of stuff, you know, just. But I was, uh, that's why I like happy things. Like, I'm like, man, get me off the. <laughs> I can't do the scary, the scary movies. The, I the, get it. And I mean, I can watch it, like, especially yeah. when I was an adult, but. I don't know. It's just something about it. I just be like, man, it's enough killing going on. I, yeah. don't, I don't want my entertainment to be more mm-hmm. of this. Let me get the fantasy shit. Cause, I, I don't you know. know when I was able to just watch them. And I think when life hits you, like when you experience life, that's <laughs> that's when I was like, yeah, yeah there's a lot more things to be afraid of than I mean, Mr. No, Monster true. over here. For me, it was more so, you know, I started thinking about other things that I wanted to accomplish. So, at that point, then it was like, nah, I'm not, I'm not afraid of certain movies. I'm not afraid of the dark anything okay, like Macaulay that. Okay, Macaulay Culkin. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, not afraid, afraid anymore. anymore. Yeah, you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, it. Got to that point, but at that time, just as a child, being innocent, not knowing anything else other mm-hmm. than just certain things you see and hear. Nah, that ring shit, and it was on VHS. Too. Ring Take- was scary, bro. That 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 was a little. Yeah, got it from Blockbuster. I and we and we all had the movie, them TVs too. That mm-hmm. did the little. It would just turn on randomly, bro. Yeah, no, I'm I'm good, bro. Or or um, you remember the the uh, Halloween episode, the Family Matters Halloween episode with the dummy? Mm, yeah, that shit. The little Urkel. Yeah, the, that shit used to creep me out. It scared yeah. me that episode. Never forget that episode was on. <laughs> I was at my grandma's house, and. All of a sudden, we it was a it was storming that night. Mm-hmm. But then it, it started. Once I watched that episode, I wasn't even trying to watch it. It was just on. Yeah, and I was like, oh, and crap. you think it's Family Matters too? So yeah, but I knew that episode because you know I had the same fear of like dolls and Chucky and stuff like that, <laughs> nigga. All of a sudden, the lights start going out and it's just thundering. Lightning outside oh, yeah, and the house shook, and I was like, "Oh man, I'm about to get got." Take me to the king. My, you know, my grandma, she don't play that. Man. Yeah, she no. like shit your ass down. Yeah. Go ahead, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm gonna beat you and that dummy. Yeah. <laughs> you two dummies. I was like, "Grandma, I'm scared." I'm like, well, you shouldn't be watching. That was always the response. You shouldn't, shouldn't have been watching this. <laughs> Just give me a damn hug. Yeah, all right? that's all I needed. But I she was like, it. no, take your ass in that room and lay down. I was like, what? <laughs> Go drink some water. So I don't have any scary stories as far as like. No, we no, you night. do. Well, but the thing is. Tales, some from, tales from the hood. <laughs> Shut up. What up, cuz? Right? My, my only thing was <laughs> one day I was at home and my brothers used to mess with me a lot. Um. So they're yeah, you got I, it too. Yeah, yeah, they were terrible. So they they used to like put me upside down in the in the um, laundry basket. What? And push me in the closet and close oh, the door. 
Why would they put you upside down? That's why it's like Warren be laughing at me, but now he knows I got it bad because uh, <laughs> I don't like being confined. Uh, <laughs> it's not funny, but I be laughing. Uh, she got traumatized. I yeah. still have it now. Like I can't. I can't. She can't be smothered in. <laughs> like I'm. Like, <laughs> she be uh, I, I do it now. And it's like I'm trying to like get it. I'm still trying to get over it now. It's it's better. Bro, I put the covers <laughs> over her one day, bro. Uh, and she about lost her damn mind. And I'm like Nisha, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Uh, she, she, she like, I just don't, do don't I don't like she it. She got triggered. It's, it's not, yeah, it's, 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 trigger. <clears throat> it's definitely a trigger. So it's like, I can see where you, your trauma comes from. Cause I definitely have tra- trauma. <laughs> like I can't, I can't be confined. Like if y'all was, if this was, if we was in here too long and we was in a corner and y'all like was in front of me, I, I just, the claustrophobic, oh, I yeah. can't, I get the trigger. I didn't, I didn't think I was claustrophobic until I got a CAT scan one day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah uh, that that definitely hit me. Oh, recently. Yeah, they'd be like, "Don't st- that's, sit still." Like, that's, that's a new fear of mine. <laughs> Cause what? What do you mean go in this thing and be? And it's loud closed? too. Yeah, you just Ooh. you can't move. And all. It's mm, t- 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 yeah. bro. I have recently had to do that because I thought I was gonna be fine. Like I was like, all right, they do that shit just to throw it on the bill. Oh, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, I thought they I was run that. One hundred k. Ain't that much. <laughs> Keep me whatever I got there. I don't yeah. know. I think you get a cat scan, it'd be like at least seven grand on there. Oh, nah, it's expensive, bro. Yeah. I don't know the, I, the number. I, I saw the breakdown. I had, uh, bro. Shit, an anesthesiologist just to get, I mean, anesthesiologist, to just to get what I got for the pregnancy, the mm-hmm. epidural and stuff, that damn bill by itself was like seven grand. <sighs> just to get one damn shot. Yeah. What? But, but for some reason, we keep having kids, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yep. But this, nah, this the real scary stuff. The movie, yeah. the stories, all that ain't even scary. Real this life. the scary part. Real life is scary. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's cool. yep. hey. I mean, you not <clears throat> you know you make it look easy. You know, yeah, I mean, shit, shit. <laughs> it's scary. That's, that's, a, that's a horror movie right there. No, nah, yes. But <laughs> you did. We did have a few topics to get to before we ended. I love when we just able to kick it. Mm-hmm. Uh, but there has been some craziness going on in in the, in the social media world. So we are going to throw our opinions on that before we end it uh, briefly. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> apparently, so there is this clip mm-hmm. real quick. I want to play. Okay. And I showed Nisha this earlier. Oh, yeah. I think it's fake. What? But it's apparently a, a ex NBA's NBA players. Oh, um, yeah. That was tough. I think it was Josh Smith. Mm-hmm. Yeah. His wife <laughs> was recording him finding out that she had an OnlyFans. Wait, she was recording it? You no, she was recording fake? their argument. Like, I guess he apparently he found out that they that she had one. And so she started recording herself as she's he's finding out or right after he found out about her having one. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this. Okay. Out all Wait, wait, no, 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 calm, but you're not gonna say fuck me or that's fucked up. It's not what fucked up. Me with the <sighs> Listen, it's not fucked up, and we're going to. Up. Okay, look, wow. so I have an OnlyFans page, and he's mad because he's just now finding out about it. Of course, I'm mad. I'm just finding but out about it. I'm not doing it with anybody but myself. So why should I have to tell you my choice, my body, my body, my fucking choice? My choice, my body. Joe, I've been talking to you about mad things. I've been asking for solutions to shit. You're not giving me none, so I created one. That's no solution. Not in my book. That's no you solution. Knew, you knew who the fuck I was when you met me. Before. Mm. Oh, damn. Before. <laughs> before, yeah. That's the part. That quote right, right there. I would never have to go <coughs> back to anything like this again. But unfortunately, but not, no, no, that's no. not the case that's right now. Unfortunately. Yeah, everything's supposed to change. Everything did change. No, 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 no. no obviously Everything. It no, it had to. I had mm. to do yeah, something. You look like a nice ass house too on the cool. <laughs> Ross you looking at the house. house. Like this, <laughs> making it seem like. You act like that's the only thing that I do. I have mad jobs, but they're not facilitating everything that needs to be done. So I got something mm. extra. Only fans be breaking me off. What the Man, fuck? Come on, Keith, with that. Wow. It don't matter when they break you off. It's the disrespect that comes with it. What you disrespect? Even, you couldn't come and talk to me about it. Okay, mm. well, mm. we're talking about it now. Because I had so, to find out on the fly. All right then, but now, okay. No, so, wait. I had to find out on the fly. Wow. So now you know. Wow. Yeah. They're married? Yeah. Oh, okay. damn. That's cold. 
And so? That's cold. So thoughts, because I don't know if this is real or fake. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's one of those things where... But it is a conversation. Uh, this is like, well... This nigga. <laughs> but it's one of those things where it's like, if it wasn't that big of a deal, then why would you hide it? Why wouldn't you initially bring it to the forefront? I just want to see what people think. Like, would you be mad if you dating somebody and they just do an OnlyFans without you knowing? Yeah. Because she used the quote, my body, my choice. That's so it. if she take your I'm choice, so how did that quote going around? What if what if your partner takes your choice away from them doing something that they feel financially assists them where they want to be? Like, where do y'all stand in that relationship? What would you? you I know? mean, you can do what you want, but that don't mean we gonna be the a thing. Yeah, there you go. That like I don't clearly. Yeah. She might be. It might be. I hope he got a prenup or whatever it is. Because well, my thing is honestly. Sometimes niggas gotta stay because it's like, yeah. So the one part that I do feel like is like a eye opener is the part where she was like, I mean, you knew who I was before you met me. That, that, that part right the there is yeah. like, I mean, at the end of the day, if nah, she was that type, type of female, of, yeah, then it's like, you, that's kind of <clears> on you because <throat> you know who you with. Like, if she yeah. was out there doing that in the streets before you married her, when you caught her, then it's yeah. like, what makes you? Th- what I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you. There's some strippers that turn into wives. Not saying they're all bad, but there's most of the time they're gonna lean back into what they were doing before. Is that a pole? If times get bad, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying. If times get hard, shit, you if you gonna do what you know. Yeah. And yeah. like she said, she was already doing that previously. So if she feel like it ain't where she wanted to be financially, you can't be mad at her. She go back to do what she was doing before well, we because you was, was already stupid. clearly doing those things. Whatever she was doing, I'm out. I mean, if you on if you're on OnlyFans, like she said, doing it to yourself, I'm out. That clearly tells you something in regards to some something sexually related, right? Yeah. If it's just me, you know, based off of what you hear. Not saying this shit may be fabricated. It may be fake. Maybe yeah, something they, yeah. they might have just planned this shit just to get some kind of publicity. You know, people do that shit nowadays. But that's where the influence is messing it up because it just, it exposes certain things like this and it makes it like this okay. It makes people think this is normal. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it shouldn't be normal. So I just wanted to get y'all our thoughts on that because I seen that this morning. I was just like, bro, that's wild. Like, fake or not, that's just crazy that whether they're promoting it to get mm-hmm. people to go to her OnlyFans or not, that's wild. Like, bro, keep your stuff mm-hmm. in your... I wish people would just leave their business in their bedroom. That's mm-hmm. that's like what we, That's like that whole little, you know, Will and Jada situation. Like, leave your own personal business yeah. in your own home. What we tell our kids when they go to school, what goes on at home stays yeah. at home. It yeah. don't it don't go outside of home. So I'm, I'm, I'm tired of them damn tell-all books. Like, bro, mm-hmm. just shut up. Exactly. Like, Tell keep, nothing. Leave <laughs> quiet. Keep your shit to yourself. That's uh, not nobody else's business. Yeah. I mean, just like Dwight Howard. Whatever going on in his career. Oh, like, yeah. I had show, I had show one an interview that mm-hmm. he had. Did you see the interview that he had? Mm-hmm. Yeah, apparently was somebody was asking him what happened. <laughs> He kept trying to avoid. Well, he asked him. He said, "Are you know? Are you are you gay? You know?" Which he was yeah. like, "I mean, if you are, that's your business." He was like, "But I'm just. I, it's my job to ask yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, I'm a reporter, said, so I got to report show, it. I got to, you know, yeah. that's going around. Yeah, I got a, I got an opportunity to interview you. Why would I not address the most? Yeah, you know, popping topic mm-hmm. or one of the most popular topics <clears throat> and. He just kept avoiding, like, bro, why? Why is that your business? I mean, yeah, like, he kept saying, why is it? Why is my life your business? Why? But he was like, hey, I, it ain't my business. He was like, what you do is your business. He was like, but at the end of the day, this is a media. I mean, yeah, I work yeah. for media. And at the end of the day, I, I, this is something that's going on right now. People just want to know because, I mean, that's just, hey, people always want to be in your business. But at the end of the day, that just gave me my answer. Yeah, it gave him an answer. Yeah, it did. <laughs> that's what I said, too. I said, well, I mean, hey. Yeah, if he didn't say <laughs> yeah, no. Like. Then I already gave. I mean, the rumors have been out for a long time. Yeah, for a minute. Like, yeah. there's been people that have come out and had conversations and were well, reported that yeah, he knew I was a a a, a man at one point, but he still did his thing or whatever. He was still messing with me, mm-hmm. and then so these have been out, but it's it's now that. And then I think some allegations, some sexual assault allegations, yeah, are about being something that happened. In yeah, the- being directed towards him. So <clears throat> you know, we don't know how that's gonna play out as well. But it's, you know, the answer, I mean, if he is, he is, that's fine, whatever. And we don't, I don't give a damn. Like but I say, exactly. It's just the non answer is the answer. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if y'all heard yeah. about uh, what's the name that's been in the news uh, that uh, plays Kane the Conqueror? Uh, oh, um, uh, the black dude. 
The black dude. I'm sorry. Really? <laughs> nah, I know his uh, name. What's his uh, name? I can't even think what's of What's his it. name, Nisha? Jonathan Majors. Jonathan Majors. Yeah, Majors, Majors, Majors. Uh-huh. Majors. Well, I think the the one that, I think the lady that On was the involved, that... Yeah, she was uh was she charged with assault or something like that? I believe she was charged. I remember with... them flipping the... I, yeah, I think know. she was charged yeah. with assault or something like it, it kind of flipped on her. Yeah, cuz <laughs> she tried to make it seem like it was him. That yeah, was, when I was abusing, abusing her. her, but it came out that she had assaulted him. Um, let me make sure I got to get all the facts on that one cuz Yeah, I don't really know. Mickey uh-huh. Mickey Mouse is real. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse is backed. <laughs> nah, fact. They'll probably be able to hide your punches. Nah, you know? nah. It's too much. On- <laughs> he got too much at stake. Mm-hmm. I'm watching Loki now. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I just knew they wouldn't finish. Just throw him out the window. Not that you didn't backed all of your next phase of movies based on this person. Yeah, nah. He's he's and an this, important yo, part. Yo, your damn. This rides a lot on this. How this goes? This mm-hmm. phase. Because a lot of people are kind of magoo on it right now with what's been going on. So, I don't know. I ain't going to say it's not true. Um, I just want to get more facts. Um, but if she did falsely accuse him, that sucks because a lot of people that get falsely <laughs> accused don't even get um, the justice that's due to them. Whether it's been a football player or something like that mm-hmm. that went to jail and missed a career probably potentially. Like, if you falsely accuse someone, I think you need to be able to – you have to serve that time where they need to yeah. come up with something because – Sometimes people lives just getting and y'all want to throw them a million dollars. Like, like, bro, what's that supposed to do? <clears throat> like, nah, because they were, I mean, the media was crucifying him. Yeah. No, yeah, at fir- when it first, but that's everything, everything, bro. Dude. Mm-hmm. Like, as soon as something come out, I mean, you got to Before we even know if he's guilty or not, they were, they were handing him, like, <clears throat> the guilty sentence, which kind of forced, you know, Public Disney opinion, bro. and Marvel to kind of pull back on certain stuff because it's like, he's getting this negative press mm-hmm. and he's supposed to be a part of this big franchise yeah no that's wild uh, i can't really find the exact source but i do believe like i said it was it, it something where no i remember them saying that because he was going to court to actually uh refute it and mm-hmm. so the i think more facts yeah end up coming out about actually her being the one that had the issues but mm-hmm. as it comes out because you know this there are going to be uh a lot of follow-ups on this story. So as it come out, we'll be doing our just do to make sure we look into it. So that way we probably can touch on the next pod. So that way we mm-hmm. can see what's happening, what's going on, and like what what what's going on with the story. Cause I remember even when he started talking to Megan Good, mm-hmm. yeah, people was dating, trying to say, yeah. Oh, don't come to a black woman now, now that you got in trouble. And st- it was just so many different uh things going around about and she's been supporting him. She would have all his yeah. court hearings. She yeah. shows up with him and I just want to know what's the time period though. Like I do want to know like from when he was talking to this lady, because I think they were they were dating. I think so, yeah. She just got divorced. So I'm trying to figure out when like, did they even get yeah. time. All like, that time is kind of like confusing. Yeah, that's the only thing I will say. I did look at that too. I was like, wait, guard. she just it just like you just, just popped it. up. Mm-hmm. Clearly they was together when they got had the altercation. Mm-hmm. I want to say. So him and his lady had this situation, if I'm not mistaken about the timeline. Then he goes to this situation, and then next thing you know, making good pops up. That yeah. was my only thing. Like, it's kind of weird. Yeah. But he had know. this altercation. She was married. She was going through her divorce. Then she got divorced. With the preacher and then dude, together. Right? Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. it's like, I'm just like, oof, that's a lot within like the last year. Getting mm-hmm. scary, huh? Yeah. The <laughs> timing is definitely questionable, but ain't none of our business. Hey. And I do want to end on the Glorilla situation. So apparently, mm-hmm. uh, Glorilla, we were just doing a video about this, a reaction. Uh, shout out to Arco TV on the Rogue page. Um, so Glorilla, Glorilla dropped a song called Cha Cha. Yeah, it's like a rendition of the Cha Cha Slide, but with a drill beat. It's not good. Gotcha. So <laughs> I want to say good. Kai Sinat, uh, mm-hmm. the streamer, the popular streamer doing this thing. Uh, Top streamer to me at this point. Yeah. Reacted to it. He has a relationship with her, so I could tell that his reaction, he was just like, nah, this ain't it. Yeah. You know, from it. And apparently she blocked him Mm -hmm. after that. Like, she blocked (laughs) him on social media and his number and stuff. He tried to call her on stream, and she he got sent to voicemail, tried Mm -hmm. to follow, you know, go to her on Twitter, and she had blocked him. So he was like, bro, I know she ain't blocked me off of that. So when she went live, a lot of his supporters was on her live saying, unblock Kai, unblock Kai. And so it just start getting real mm-hmm. from that point. But like Ross was saying, some words must have been had between between her and the label, or she must have been getting a lot of heat because yeah. he's a top streamer right yeah. now. So mm-hmm. a lot of these labels and stuff, 
are sending these artists to the streamers. Mm-hmm. Like, and I, and I thought I was tripping when I was seeing that. I was like, man, ain't that yeah. so-and-so streaming? Ain't mm-hmm. that? You know, so I'm seeing what the labels are doing to get the artists out there more, which to me is crazy because I'm like, damn, you this artist, you shouldn't need a streamer in order to get plays and just to tap in bro they they know i'm nah bro i feel like if you that artist like you you shouldn't need to you don't see drake having to worry about that well he kind of he kind of did that too drake too did, with the sexy uh, reds joint on his album drake did um uh, play uh i mean he's one of the biggest artists in the world but he did uh you know when ninja was one of the you know bigger streamers at the time. Mm-hmm. He did uh, have a a Fortnite session with him. He joined in on Fortnite and stuff like that. So I mean, it, they know these labels. That's different, though, Ross. That's not what, like nah, it's not. I mean, these people are going to Kai's uh, and other guys. What's the other guy's name? The um, Caucasian uh, dude that be streaming to uh, Aiden. Aiden. Yeah. Aiden. They be going to his house. Like yeah, I'm talking about, like they, you yeah, know, like, was going to his like house. Yeah. Drake not doing that. Like yeah, he, true. Hopping on a game is different. Like that's cool. Like well, a lot of artists aren't doing it. Yeah, um, but, but I mean, I mean still having the artist on the stream in, in any capacity is still unless I know I've been knowing you mm-hmm. and you streaming and then we do something together. I think that's different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or yeah, we yeah. develop a relationship over a long uh, period of time and yeah. then we collab. I think that's different. But yeah. if I don't know you like that, yeah, and then I get on stream to turn up with you like I've been knowing you, yeah, that that's, we, that's wild to me. Yeah, no, I mean. It's the bag, bro. It's the, it's the money. You know what no, I'm saying? I ain't knocking it for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll never knock what somebody else choose to do for their money as long as it's not affecting me and mine. Mm-hmm. For me, it's just wild. So after that, that's mm-hmm. when, uh, you know. She tried to backtrack, right? Well, she was pretty much saying, nah, he going to stay blocked. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. He made his bed. He got to lay in it. So nah, now. how she said it? <laughs> yeah. how she said it? I'm not. I don't, I don't know the <laughs> Memphis got, accents. Uh, if he made the bed, he got to lay there. Yeah, lay there. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Lay there. So, so as say later, it again. If he made the bed, he got to lay there. Yeah, that's pretty much how she said she, it. She did a live like. So, after that point, I want to say he's doing the the jail stream right now. He's yeah, not, I was just about to say that. Not really in that's jail, wild. but he got, I think, DDG there now. Different uh, niggas could come in. Yeah, different niggas. Uh, what's that nigga name? <laughs> NLE Chopper was there. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the other? Uh, Drewski there. Drewski. Or whatever. So, I think they even had, uh, what's that girl named? Trump? Tiana Trump? I think she probably. As a guard. Yeah, that's, that, that probably that makes sense. So, <laughs> they're doing that. Obviously, I'm, fuck, having a good time. I don't think Gorilla knows that's, that they're not really in jail. Yeah. But... So maybe somebody at the label was like, yo, you need to fix this, whatever the case. But she went on Twitter after she uh, had a, you know, she said she's drunk. Please don't say what you think you're going to say. She's drunk and she was like, um, I'm so drunk, I might even unblock uh, uh, Kai. Uh, yeah, that's what she said. So, wow, paraphrasing. Kai too. pretty much was like, nah, like he saw it while he doing the stream. He was like, Nah, he, he said, "If you make that bed, you got to lay, lay in there." You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to lay in. So, and they all got lit. In you know, they all turning cell. up or whatever. But she goes on IG live with her, and I <laughs> DJ oh, yeah, Academic too. calls them niggas the Rena Goons <laughs> because it's, it's like them niggas. She paying them niggas eight dollars an hour in a subway sandwich to sit up there and crash out. I'm done. So you can't see their faces really. You just hear them in the back. And you hear her talking, and she was oh, like, God, yeah. This. yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers we, do it for free, so imagine <laughs> what you do it with some money. Yeah, you know, we, we can find the jail. I'm like, bro, wait, you know, he's not really in jail, right? And then she's over there talking about Free Kai, Free KC, I don't know how to pronounce his name. So Free KC, and fuck DJ Academics. And I was just Ooh. like, wait, <laughs> Where did that come from? Like, yeah, like, what did he have to do with that? Because I think Academics had one point said she going to cop a plea. Mm. And... She ended up copping the plea with the whole free uh, cause and that. I might, I might unblock him. That's her copping the plea because initially she's like, I'm not going to unblock him or whatever. So that's when she started going in on him or whatever. And the, the goons in the back started going in on him. And at one point, like I said, it was weird because it was... She was talking about, yeah, this is some street shit between me and Kai, me and KC. Like, you know, free mom. I'm like, yeah, that's wild. Street? What are you, what are you talking about? No sh- I hope, I hope she's joking. Cause I, mean, I hope so too, but it, it ain't looking too good because it's like 
It's niggas, weird, bro. Niggas in the back. Yeah, we gonna pull up. I'm like, why would you? First of all, why would you pull up to a jail cell? Second of all, he's not in jail. Third of all, what's what's up with this? It's some street stuff. It's it's not street. It's always a nigga willing to throw his life away. It's it's, it's, it's really prove. weird. It's, and at and at the end of the day, I mean, I'm sorry if you got a whole bunch of yes men around you thinking that song hot. That's. It's not. Watch me. Cha cha cha. Yeah, no, that's no, that <laughs> shit is not. How does it, it go? I don't know, but this shit is. Boo-boo. How does it go, bro? You heard it. We heard it in there. It is trash. We heard it on the reaction, bro. I don't even remember how it go. You don't need to. It's ash. It's not good. <laughs> right, I well, heard she, the song. She, she, we couldn't put the camera on. I don't know. Fuck, nigga. You need somebody to tell you that's not it. That is not it. You can't put a drill beat on everything, bro. You I'm can't. Trying to. And it's it's it be different. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's bad, bro. And I don't even want this video to get copyrighted. I think the first no, time she performed it was at the BET Awards, right? I don't even. I was it before that? I, that's the first. That was that was my first time hearing it. It's, it's not. And good, I was bro. like, did she say I ain't got a word? No, hell? I ain't got no words. Hakuna Matata, Hakuna Matata, my man, my man. That boy is ta ta ta. Yes, yeah, I got Drake on me. I make that bitch sing la la la. Yes, yeah, slide down on the ops and make him do the cha cha cha. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, that sounds like some shit you put like <laughs> like a kid put that song together. It's not good, bro. And she has some pretty solid music. So yeah, you know she actually saying? wasn't bad to me. Yeah, it's just that that wasn't it, and that's okay. That's part of the game. You're not, oh bro. God. There's been some <laughs> awful bars <laughs> for some of our favorite artists. Some awful songs from from our favorite. It happens. But bro, you got to be able to take criticism. When you in the limelight, fam. When yeah, you put, bro. When you put a product out, video recording, anything. There's been hella people like, oh, I don't like this video. Yeah. I don't like this setup. I don't like this reaction. I don't... Fam, I don't give a damn, bro. If you ain't trying to be giving constructive criticism to aid in what somebody doing, who cares, bro? Somebody going to all... Some people going to hate on you just because they can. Just mm-hmm. because they can do it and there's no way of you tracing them back legally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, legally <laughs> Like people yeah. will just say anything just to be hurtful. Like it don't matter the situation. Like we said, that, we said every time... When that time we thought the Earth was going to get hit by an asteroid, they put the Jordan crying face on Earth. Mm-hmm. Like, niggas, if the Earth can't get no sympathy, what makes you think you are? Right. So, bro, just keep rolling with the punches. Have fun. It's hard to hate on good energy. Mm-hmm. Because when people just continue to have good energy, regardless of what people say, it's hard to continue to hate on a person like that. So you shut people up by just continuing to stride and have confidence in whatever you're doing. So right. this track might not be for everybody. If you feel like it's hot to you, yeah, go cha 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 everywhere you can cha cha and yeah. let that ring off because yeah. somebody gonna like it. Yeah, somebody will. But you doing this, these antics, that mean you were already kind of probably insecure about the track. And the first thing that somebody, the first negativity you got from it, you just went from somebody you knew, and it just shouldn't have went like that. It should have been way better than that. Yeah. Um, I don't think he meant to be harmful. He went. He said, "I love Glow, but this ain't it." Yeah, that was a respectable one. A very went, respectable. And he, he even came out later and said, "Look, I right, bro, these labels hit me up. I can easily take the bag or whatever and fake <clears> it." But he's like, "I can't do that. Rather be I, real. I, I, I want to be real with y'all. Facts. So I mean, I can take the money." And and just make sure I say nothing but positive things, knowing damn well it ain't that ain't it. You we've, know? we've been in that situation plenty mm-hmm. of times. Bro. Yeah, nah, bro. I'm I'm not selling my realness for. Hey, I'd rather no I'd rather you if you're gonna pay us. Hey, we'll tell you the truth. Be pay me for my honesty. Don't yeah. pay me to just come on here and boy, did you hear that? No, nah, the bro. cat in the hat, you nah. had it back. Boy, that's so, the bar of the year. And I can Niggas respect, be on here capping too. Like I can respect people that that keep it real to hold that integrity because he's getting paid some big bucks. So, oh, for sure. And he I don't think, need her. So he don't and he don't. And that's the thing. That's why he's like shit. You lay in the bed that you make. You know, I don't, I'm good over here. Whether you fuck with me or not, that's cool. You it gotta lay her. He's stupid, bro. <laughs> but yeah, man. Nah, it's getting real scary out here. Mm-hmm. Nah. That was crazy, bro. Like, yeah, I think that's a. That's... Uh, we will probably have to end it there, bro. Yeah. Bro, I feel like that's kind of that's wild. It's getting real creepy. Yeah. Uh, just, no wonder this is the Halloween pod because <laughs> the streets is looking real spooky. For sure, for it's sure. Really is, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it, man. Mm-hmm. Hopefully you guys um running it up, man, for us. Keep on. Sharing these podcasts, listening yep. to them throughout, commenting your thoughts with some other things that you want to hear us talk about and get on. Um, 
don't get on the fit too much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> My costume didn't come with a button up, so I had to improvise <laughs> for the time being. But uh, yeah, let us know what y'all think about the track. Cha 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 is what? It's, it's three cha cha. Oh, cha cha cha. Yeah. Okay. Got you. <laughs> Hakuna matata ta. Okay. That's, That's a bar though. She ain't got no words. Hakuna matata ta. Yeah, yeah. It's not good, bro. Don't. It's, but yeah, anywho. It's not it. Yeah, it's not. But we love you guys, man. Keep on supporting this man, spreading that love, being love. Enjoy yourselves out there. Make sure you be safe. For sure. Make sure you keep on uh pushing love out there out there to the community and everywhere because we need it. Nah, sure. So catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace out. Alrighty.